Let's look at final exam, question number 42, found on page 242 of Everyday Math Demystified, second edition. If we transpose the order of the quantities in a sum, what happens to the result? So if x and y are any two numbers, and we add them, what happens if we reverse the order in which we add them? <clears throat> the answer is, it stays the same. That is choice A. The technical name for this principle, this applies for all numbers that you can possibly imagine. A x plus y equals y plus x. They call this the commutative law for addition, or the commutative property. It means that we can commute Does that, look, does that look like commute to you? Well, we can commute, meaning that we can transpose the uh, order of the sum, and we'll always get the same result. In fact, that applies to any number of numbers, any sum, no matter how many numbers there are. If we have 30 different numbers in a sum, that is like, a, like you'd have a column of numbers in, a, uh, in an accounting uh, chart. For example, you know, you're, you're adding up all the numbers in your ledger, in your accounting ledger, x plus y plus z plus w, you keep on going, you add them all up, you finally get some result, call it r, you can add these up in any order, and it doesn't matter if there are four of them, or forty of them, or four hundred of them, or four million of them. You can add them in any order. A lot of accountants, when they're adding up a column like that, if <laughs> they'll add it up from top to bottom, and then check it going from the bottom to the top, and be sure they get the same answer. I've done that a lot in, in uh, my accounting, uh, journeys and sojourns and odysseys, and as often as not, lo and behold, I find that I get a different result when I go from the bottom to the top than I do when I go from the top to the bottom, even with the help of a calculator. And I'm just one of those types, you know, I can figure out the four-dimensional volume of a sphere in hyperspace by means of triple integration or something. But when it comes to adding up a column of numbers, I don't have a clue. Except I have to keep doing it over and over and over again until I'm reasonably sure I get it right. I think every year in the past three years, the IRS has come back to me with a, saying I made a mistake. It was about like $10. But, it, well, that's just me. The numbers are as they are. The commutative property is a law of the universe. The correct answer is A.